I wish I knew more about uh, the chemistry of water because I then perhaps would better be able to explain to you how it is that this, uh, these bubbles get expressed out of the water just by the process of leaving the water in the sunlight. Now, uh, if this is what I observed, and you can see it as well, I believe we need to develop something like a different sort of a language to describe what's been happening. I don't think we've got time to develop this too much as an idea, but I'd like to suggest to you that what is going on here is the writing into the water of a passive force field. Well, when we talk about a passive force field, it's like a, a CD or information that's written in the computer. If the electricity is not turned on, you don't get the information out again. So what we need is a living force field to read the information that's in the passive force field. Now, any living being can read that. A dog, a cat, a child, a horse, a human being. There's no distinction about the capacity of living beings to read the passive force field. I mean, it's a bit like uh, what enables a plant to grow. If it's got within its DNA certain messaging, but it can adapt to the environment, the force field in which it lives, and it does so by expressing the geometry in the leaf patterns and in the flowers. Remedy contains this information which we have the potential to actually utilize and listen to and change. But we never lose free will.